Hi Fat Yoga friends! I'm Tiffany. I'm a fat yoga teacher trying to make yoga accessible to everybody. And today we will be talking about pigeon. So if pigeon is a pose that you struggle with because you have bunker thighs or anything else that, that makes it really hard for you to get into the pose, just remember like there's always a way. There's always a way. So um, let's jump into it. But before we do, make sure you're subscribed, click that notification bell, and click the like if you like videos like this. Okay, let's dive in. All right, so here's my view of how I like to set up for pigeon. I like to have a bolster and then two blocks in front, and then I'll show you exactly why that's important. Welcome to the voice recorded version of the video. So starting in low lunge, you can reach forward and then heel toe your foot all the way over and then finding pigeon that way. So here we're pressing our hands into the blocks and then maybe bringing forearms to the floor and that bolster is helping to support you. And then when you're ready to come out, you just shift your weight over to one side and then come onto tabletop and you can lift up and find that low lunge on the other side. And then the same thing, heel toe your foot all the way over to the other side. And then slowly finding pigeon there. So both hips facing forward. And then even thinking about tucking that back foot and aligning the hips before you lift up. And then exhale, come all the way back down. Like, I just love this version of Pigeon. I feel the most supported when I put a bolster um, in that way on Pigeon. So next up, here is, if you want to access Pigeon from Down Dog on Blocks, you come up into a three-legged and then bring the foot forward and cross over and then tuck the back toe and help yourself into the pose that way. You can always lift up and come <laughs> untuck your toe and then come back up into down dog and then switch sides. And keeping in mind, like if your foot is more towards your groin, it might be make it easier for the pose. Now, if you bring your foot more parallel to the mat, then it might make it more difficult to be in the pose because you're going to stretch uh, more of your hip. And then here I am just showing how it can look to heel toe your foot from one side to the other and then slowly allow your foot or your shin to come to the mat. And then here's a different version of pigeon. If you have super tight hips or if your back hip is uncomfortable, you can bend that um, back knee so it's off to the side. So this is also considered deer pose, but you can also do this and just kind of modify your pigeon in that way. So that's another option for you if you might be struggling with the traditional pigeon pose with the knee all the way back. And then again, I'm showing how you can keep your foot a little closer to your groin to make it easier or bring it up and more parallel to the top of the mat. And then you can take a block and place it underneath the hip that's being stretched for some like leverage here. So you can always make it like kind of sit off onto the block, lift up the foot, inch it up to how you need it to, and then move your hands forward when you're ready to come down. You know, a lot of this pose is about like just shimmying and moving and wiggling all these little, little parts of your body that just you have to feel into it to know like if it feels right. So here's the block on this side, just so you can kind of see, it's just propping up my hip. So it's not meant for like comfort, it's meant for like leverage. So you might feel not that bad for the block because your hip isn't just like existing there and you're like tensing it up. Instead, you can kind of relax your hip and like sink into the block. So that's what it's there for. And just feel into it and see what's right for you. And then we can also do a uh, pigeon on our backs. So just finding a, a reclined figure four and then grabbing even the back of the leg will definitely um, make it more 
of an advanced stretch so you can stretch even deeper if you'd like to try that way or you could even move your knee from side to side and feel into the stretch stretch that way another option would be to grab a chair and to bring your ankle to your knee and finding figure four that way but you notice like I had to lift my heel for my foot to stay on my knee. So to bring my knee up, I just grabbed a block, placed it under my foot, and then my foot can stay there better. And then I can lean forward and find pigeon in that way or just, you know, a, a, a figure four on the chair. You can also flex your foot just to kind of make sure your knee is in line with everything. Okay, so there's lots of ways, different ways to do pigeon. Just keeping in mind that the main thing is stretching out the hips. So if you're hitting that hip mobility, then you are perfect. I say start at the chair then start on your, and then go move to your back and then try with a the bolster, then try with a block and then try without anything reclined all the way down. So just depending on your hip flexibility and honestly, your hip flexibility will be changing as well. So never think like you will never go back to the chair because one day you may need to and that is accessible and it's there for you if you need it. So friends, if you love this video, you want to see more videos like this, please like that um, hit that like button, subscribe, and then also write a comment down below. I love hearing from you and telling me like what you liked about the video, what you want to see next. Tell me all the things. Comments down below. Thanks. Bye.